In this video, I wanted to show you a little hack that will make your life a little bit easier for these big problems in Excel. As you see, we have 50 candies in this list and we want to find the sample standard deviation. If you try to enter all 50 of those into a graphing calculator, you'll be there for some time. So I'm going to show you how to do it using Excel. If you look over to the right of the table, there's a link to copy the table and you can open it in StatCrunch. You can copy it to a clipboard and paste it maybe in some other uh, software that you might have. Or you can open it in Excel. I'm going to show you the Excel route. So we click and you see it opens the file down here. So we'll click to open it. And as you see here, it has loaded all 50 data points without us having to type them. So in order to finish this problem as fast as possible, I'm going to use the built-in Microsoft Excel formulas. If you didn't realize, Microsoft Excel does have built-in formulas and functions that can do things that are very common in mathematics. And one of those is standard deviation. And you may know it. If you do know it, you type equals and it's stdev dot s for a sample. Now let's say you didn't know that. If you look right here on the calculation bar, there's a button that says fx and it says insert function. So there's two ways to find standard deviation. You can find it inside the statistical set of formulas and I encourage you to go through these, although most of these are pretty advanced statistics, but there are some things in here that we can use, uh, mean and median and, and uh, various other things, range and these kind of things are in there. If you know that you specifically need standard deviation, you can just type search for standard deviation and it brings up, there are ver various ways of calculating standard deviation. And so as it works, this stdev.s, since S stands for sample, if you look back at our problem, it wanted to determine the sample standard deviation. And then it wants to know what numbers. And you use this button to select cells. Once you've selected your cells, press the button at the end, and then press OK. And we have our result 0 0.061665. And so my math lab wanted to round to two decimal places. So to two decimal places, 0 0.061 means it will become 0 0.06 and hopefully that will save you some time as you do calculations and you can continue to answer the rest of the parts of this problem with your excel i would encourage you to be familiar with it don't expect to have to use this on a final exam or any proctored exam you will need to know how to do it on your calculator but for the purposes of saving time while you're doing your homework i would encourage also having a little bit of fluidity in microsoft excel